Hello and welcome to the commentary box. This is my review of the Sweden England game. Now, unfortunately, I did miss this game uh, due to working, working at a wedding. However, even though there were no TVs, there was certainly a big reaction when England did score and a couple of cheeky people streaming it live off the BBC on their table. So I certainly got a look in whenever I could. So to review the game, obviously I want the highlights. I also want the highlights um, of Croatia beating Russia on penalties, the second penalty shootout, obviously the team that we'll play in the next round. Um, and just want to review of the screening Sweden game. It felt like quite a comfortable victory for Southgate and the England team. It didn't feel like nothing was too awful. Um, obviously something did change in terms of um, I think Sterling actually put in a very good performance. I know he's very unlucky not to score and it didn't quite go right for him but that's the only thing he's missing from his game. I thought he'd been playing very good. Harry Kane didn't score the first time being captain uh, where he hasn't scored the first game at the World Cup. He hasn't scored as well which is an interesting thing to note. However, does that change anything about Kane? No, of course it doesn't. I think he still played quite well, uh, still helped us sort of play. Um, I think he could have been one one who possibly got us that corner that Maguire scored off. I can't quite remember, but very good goal from Maguire. Great delivery from Young. It's really encouraging. We've got the likes of Young and Trippier, who Trippier is personally one of my men of the tournament so far. I think he's been playing outstanding. Uh, his sort of delivery he's got is really, really top class. Um, and then you look to the other goal as well, like a good little footwork from Lingard just to put it just in front of him, just to give him a nice sort of step into crossing it back post where Deli Alley and a couple of others are waiting. But yeah, Deli Alley, he has scored headers from that sort of position from Tottenham, where it sort of reminded me of a couple of Match of the Day episodes where sort of Ericsson would deliver it back post and you'd see Deli Alley there. He's quite tall, he's not bad in the air, you wouldn't have thought. A man of his position would be uh, like much of a threat in the air, but no, he doesn't do very well. Um, very different sort of build to Lingard in a way. Obviously, they both play the same position, but they are very quite different in the way they play. You know, Ling uh, Ali's a bit more physical, um, like to go up for headers, things like that. Where Lingard's is a bit more nimble and agile and a bit smaller as well, and obviously not quite that physical present. But I thought overall played very very well. Um, not too much to say. Thank you, Jake, for that. You're probably wondering why I am ending the podcast today. Well, that is because Jake's outro has been lost to the world. So, yes, of course, thank you for listening to this review of the England-Sweden game. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our Twitter, which is at Box Commentary, and our Instagram, which is, again, at Box Commentary. Don't forget to keep on enjoying the World Cup. And, of course, it's coming home.